Um, and never trust short white men. I, I think that's really the big one. Like, Stephen Grant, you can go fuck yourself. Never trust short white men because they have a lot of insecurities and they're trying to make a ton of money because they're fucking pissed that they're short. Trust me, chat. Do not trust us. We're horrible people. Me, Stephen Graham, Kai Senat, we're all bad people. CoffeeZilla makes great videos, but I wonder if his videos are similar to when um, iDubs would make the uh, content cops. Like, do these really affect the person at all? I remember seeing a video once that said, like, do, do, I think, I think Glink made it. It was like, does the, p does them getting canceled so hard even affect them? And the answer was yes for like three months and then didn't do anything. Like, will this, will this 4 million view video do anything? Maybe just, I think it just gets the word out. You know, I, I'm not going to take my Yachty sponsor I was going to take. Like, that's for sure. Stefan Graham's probably a little pissed. What's up? Let's see his recent comments What's in the video. Who? Oof. The problem with him, and I, 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 you probably have known of him for years. I've heard of this guy for so fucking long. I remember he's he's grown so much since I've seen him when I first saw him. When I first saw him, Chad, he was like 5'3". And now he's like 5'3 and a half. So this guy has been blowing up. Like, you think finance people, especially on Twitter, on YouTube, are such geniuses. You hear them, and you're like, oh my god, like, this guy knows everything. How much Adderall has he taken today? But then the truth is, with most people, is they just are full of shit, and they don't know what they're talking about. And that's not fully Stephen Graham. I do believe he's a smart guy. But, you know, to get invested in a bank and then shill it to people, you, I think you gotta kind of know everything about it. You know? Um, so... That's pretty bad. Someone said to watch this. Is this good? Is this the guy that Andrea Botez did stuff with? We can also watch Summer Games Fest. Because the, they are my competition now. Go to Saudi Arabia? Okay. Look, I, I'm down. I'm nut. And welcome back to Swiper Swap. You guys asked for it. Oh, Michael Reeves. This. You know, you could tell I didn't watch the video. And I waited for you guys. Because I'm only 32, 32 seconds in. A couple weeks ago, I was in the ER. Not for me, I'm fine. But for my friend Tommy, whose wrist decided to explode after he fell off an electric scooter. It was- Hold on. Michael, you need to shut the fuck up. Pretty disgusting. It looked like he took the Photoshop drag tool and just went e -er to his hand. And the doctor was telling us as he was putting Tommy's bones back together how common it was to get electric scooter injuries in the ER. He gets up there with like car crashes and motorcycle accidents. And it makes you think like, how can we make electric scooters easier to use and safer for people like Tommy? And we probably come to the same conclusion, make a car out of them. Make a car out of electric scooters. <laughs> Now, when I say build a car out of electric scooters, I mean it metaphorically, <laughs> but I also mean it literally. I want to make a car out of electric scooters, where instead of these caveman fucking tires, we slot in scooters, and then I weld together a frame in between them to be like, like the body of a car. This invention takes all the risk out of riding these dangerous demonic scooters. No longer do you need the requisite skill to stay upright on one, a talent few in our society possess, if any at all. Instead, just sit down, hit the accelerator, and go. No balance required. But Michael, no, I, I fucking ask, get it. How are you gonna hit the throttles on each of the bird scooters to make it all go? I am fucking getting to that. If you would, if you would wait just a goddamn second, it'll cut to that part of the video where it's the whole explanation happens, and it'll be cut to very fast-paced music, like subway surfers. We got subway surfers. Yo. The way you accelerate on these scooters is by pressing this little throttle tab with your thumb. Uh, I don't want to use my. Dude, we should start doing that whenever the videos are boring. We should just put subway surfers. <laughs> fucking thumb, cause I can't on four scooters simultaneously. So here's what I came up with. The three printed, thumb printed thumb attached to a motor so it can actuate the throttle on the scooter. That's cool, right? Wrong, it sucks ass. Am I gonna sit there diddling wires together like a fucking Cro-Magnon caveman? No, no, we're gonna make it wireless for a couple of reasons, but mostly cause I'm neurotic. So it's gonna be 10 times more complicated. Yo, the fish. Very little benefit. We can turn this old remote into a controller for the thumb thing. And now it's a detonator. But this detonator can talk to an Arduino, so it's all good. Then we'll take some microwave safe Tupperware and put the electronics in it. That's not making it past TSA. These are all really basic components you can buy online. They come from a beautiful little place in China called Shenzhen. 
And just like that, we control the throttle wirelessly. Now you might be wondering why the scooter isn't plowing through my bathroom. And that's because it's got a built-in safety feature that makes you kick off and get a little bit of speed before the scooter accelerates, which might then make you think that's gonna be a problem for scooter car. And you'd be right, but that's foreshadowing for later. For now, I need to try to ride this. Not because I need to test it, but because it, it seems fun. And so I went into shit covered Los Angeles to try it out with my friends. We definitely not going to an airport with uh, this, right? This doesn't look sussy at all. That's my remote control car, dude. Get on. The scooter? Yeah. Hey. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, shit. Go. Okay, okay. <laughs> It's great to see that work, but if I were you, I'd be thinking, hey, Michael, dumbass, why don't you just wire into the scooter directly and skip the whole motorized thumb thing? Well, there's actually a really good reason they're not my scooters. They're public rental scooters that you can rent on your phone. So if I were to wire directly into one, that would be destruction of property and make it illegal. But since we're just renting them off the street and strapping a bunch of electronics to them, that makes it less illegal. All right, now we got four of these little fuckers and I'm gonna cut out the 13 hours of soldering between that last clip and this one. I also noticed a problem with this controller. It sends the same signal to each of the little throttle things. So they all do the same shit, but we wanna be able to talk to each one individually. And for that, we're gonna need a more advanced controller. So I got this Wiimote steering wheel off of eBay. Now I'm not good <laughs> enough at electronics to make a Wiimote talk directly to these thumb things, but if we slip some software, some coding in between the two, I'm pretty sure I can make it work. Now some people would call that compensating for my crippling lack of electronics engineering skills using computer programming. And I would also call it that. That's exactly what I'm doing. Hey kid. You wanna learn some Python? First thing, you're gonna wanna see if you can even fucking communicate with these things. So open up your little code editor and we'll write some code to test it out. This line Dude, says Michael's connect to so an Arduino good. over USB. That's our little transmitter here. And these guys are just variables. They're numbers. They say how much and which motors to move. These lines down here tell our transmitter to send those variables over to the thumb thing. And if we run it, it should... Nice. Put a cute oh little God. function up there. Mm. Uh, uh. We'll save every scooter address in an array. And now if we loop through that array, and okay, and now if we loop, what the fuck, man? Just run the fucking bro! I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you forever. Huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So the next thing I should. Do I honestly do believe Michael Reeves is influencing a lot of younger kids to start uh, coding. I was gonna say start gambling. Dude, He's starting the code. Connect to the Wiimote steering wheel. We kind of just believe. capture the steering wheel's position and use it to draw this red ball. But it gets a little cooler when you combine it with the code we wrote earlier. Now, depending on which way I turn the steering wheel, the throttle lays off on that side of the car. And with only one side of the car powered, scooter car will turn in that direction. I hope. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I haven't tested it. Well, you should probably go test it then, huh? Stupid. So it's time to go kidnap some scooters. Initially, I was worried how I would get these back to my house. But then I remembered I own a white truck with a line on top of it, which essentially makes me God on the streets of Los Angeles. And with that sorted, we True. just need a quick montage to hook these guys up. And, uh, should be good to go. Problem, the front wheel can still turn, which is definitely a kiss. fucking problem that we have. We need a system to immobilize the front steering column entirely. So here's what I designed in Fusion 360. And here's what I actually made. I call it two clamps from Home Depot. I welded together in my garage. Genius. Okay, all the controls are running. I got the software running and I just activated all the scooters on the, the app. The controls look good. I'm gonna bank a right turn out of the driveway and we'll test it out on the street. A little push. He did that on purpose for huh. comedic fun. I'll be honest with you. I meant to crash it into my truck as a goofy haha -ha kind of meme. Classic comedy. But I also 100% yep. in my heart of hearts believe that when I turn the steering wheel, it would turn. I believe so much. And uh, nothing happened when I turned the steering wheel. So I went in and did a Boeing 737 crash site analysis. I rebuilt the frame out of Thunder Wood so I could test why it didn't work. And I discovered some very disturbing things. Namely, it was that I didn't understand the concept of like, like steering in general, you cannot just power one side of a vehicle and expect it to turn. You are now watching a live video of me encountering this concept for the very first time. And like a child who cannot grasp reality, I keep trying to make it work. Cars don't do that ever. I do not know where I got these ideas. My only hope is that I'm becoming schizophrenic and a voice told them to me in the night. But I can't give up. Tommy's out there somewhere with a broken hand. What if he tries to ride another scooter? He's so, so bad at riding scooters. I need to do this for people like Tommy, who is, again, so utterly dog shit at riding scooters. We need to pivot, literally pivot the front half of scooter car to change the direction of our rotational velocity. Am I using that word right? Here's a chart, you figure it out. We'll need to ditch the wood and go with a metal frame with a heavy duty rotating hinge. Like this one? Exactly like that one. It will take days, maybe weeks to- Do you think Michael actually figures this all out? Do you, does he have like a team or is it just 
just I, I don't know. Is it just I don't know what asking you, Chad. How would you know? Well, oh no. Is it really yeah, just no, no way? He's definitely it's got boring, a team with him. If you wanted to watch it, here. It's scripted. It's gotta <laughs> See, be. Everyone's happy. Except for me. Because I um again haven't tested it yet. Well, you should probably go fucking okay, test it then. Yeah, him. no, I know. Thank you. Like, it's you just, don't think I'm he's got somebody who's that epilepsy him. montage was maybe like 80 hours of work. It shouldn't have taken that long. I, it's because I learned to weld on YouTube. And also this fucking part, it holds the bearings that lets the whole thing rotate. I had to make it on a lathe, which meant I had to learn how to use a lathe. Maybe it which is. Which meant I, I had know. to buy a lathe on Facebook Marketplace. And I also bought this couch on Facebook Marketplace. This is not an ad, I just buy a lot of stuff from there. What I'm hoping is Ooh. we can use the same concept as before, where we use the scooter speed to steer the car. But this time they have a nice pivot to work around. Oh, I also, think Michael's a genius. I think he's a really so it's smart like a guy. Line instead of a but I'm just wondering square. if you think he doesn't so do any work. of the welding or things. Like maybe right? it's like somebody helping him, like a sidak or, you know, someone. I think I smudged it. Fuck. Just get that out. It's so beautiful. I'm looking for a parking lot big enough to test this in. Last time I tried it in my driveway. I got a couple places in mind, like the roof of a Westfield mall. Just gonna move these. I got kicked out pr pretty much immediately. New spot, found it. We're trying to figure out how to take a piss, not how to take a piss, like a, a place to pee. I'm in the back parking lot of trying to hide from their security. I'm hiding everything behind my truck, but I don't know how long that's gonna last. I think I just have to test it out. This one's not unlocking. And I don't know why. This can't be real. One of them is not unlocking. Why is it just this one? I literally tested it. Please. Oh my god, it fucking worked. That's all four. That's creepy. Oh shit. It actually steers. <laughs> Let's go again. You both lap. Yes. 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 Now, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. I think the reason we had that little issue is because scooter car got outside of the range of the transmitter, which won't be a problem when I actually ride it because I'll be on it. So that's, that's good. Now we're going to go right. Okay. And now back left. Oh my God. This is. Oh shit. Oh shit, 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 shit. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Right. Brakes. Shit, honestly, I'm gonna add more than just brakes. Welcome to the future. Come here, let me show you, let me show you, let me show you what we got. Huh, brakes? Yeah, we got, we got brakes. <laughs> so the scooters actually already have brakes on them. They knew that. Stupid. So I just took a $9 air piston and 3D printed a bunch of bullshit onto it. And now you can control the brake with compressed air. Don't worry, I've already tested it out. Ah! It's pretty good. Yeah, I could have spent time with my family, but instead I spent days making brakes for a scooter car. You're wasting your life away, you idiot! You fucking moron! Um... <laughs> check this out, check this out. We got a custom push-off system. Look at this. You might be wondering why we need a push-off system. Well, you obviously don't fucking listen. Things you kick off and get a little bit of speed before the scooter accelerates. So we'll use a big metal piston to give us a push. Uh-oh, not enough friction. I wish we had something made out of rubber. Take off your Trace shoe. Your foot. Put your foot out of a sheet of metal. Breathe a bunch of poison gas. Nice job. Now if you have trouble with friction, just take off your air forces, put the metal plate in, screw it to the piston, and wow, look at all that friction. Wow, wow, nice job. Damn. Um, that was Elon. Blow up his house. Custom bodywork, a spoiler, hop a custom synthetic leather seat. Oh, we need a chair. Come on, come on. <laughs> so big. Should I like cut the seat? I think about all the dangerous things on this thing. And then I realize I'm in too deep. Like, I can't stop. Shut up, dumbass. No one cares. It's got everything. <laughs> Only one thing left to do is to make Tommy's wish come true. I mean, not now. Like, probably, probably tomorrow morning. It's tomorrow morning, and the plan is simple. We drive scooter car across Los Angeles directly to Tommy's house. This won't be easy, but it's just the right thing to do for a poor boy with a broken hand. And that's good enough for me. Can you believe this idiot broke his hand on a scooter? <laughs> no, I don't give a shit about his arm. It's like charity work, you know? Think of all the attention I'm gonna get for helping his ass. You're still recording? Are you still recording? I'm coming, Tommy. Can you guys help me get it over the, the, the lip? Okay, okay. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
shit, it fucking works. It like turns and shit. <laughs> Dude, it fucking turns. It works like for real. <laughs> Progress is good, but we're approaching the first major obstacle. Yeah. Big road. Four lanes of traffic with no stoplight. In scooter car, even the modest Prius will headshot you like child versus minivan. But no matter, I've already lost all regard for human life and safety. <laughs> she handles it like a fucking champ. She doesn't like a fucking champ she can do the turn. Hey, gun. It's hot out, no? Fuck. One of the scooters is giving out. Oh no, it's probably the low battery one I started with so I could create conflict seven. because oh, this is a YouTube no. video. But that's no problem with scooter car. Grab a scooter from wherever and you can simply replace it. Let me show you how. Disengage the parking brake. Locate a high lift jack. Jack it up a few inches. Unplug and remove your electronics. Don't package. lose that. Can't buy another one of those. Unscrew and remove your braking system. Remove the throttle motor servo. Undo the rear clamp. Undo the front clamp. Remove the low battery scooter. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Insert the fresh scooter into your scooter slot. Clamp up your scooter. Your electronics. Don't forget your throttle. Plug it back in. So you Return your brakes so you can stop at stoplights. And just like that, you're ready to rock. That was so fucking <laughs> simple, chat. Like, what the hell? This is a great product. Could I get a uh, one number four, the meal? From here on out, it's smooth sailing. Except for the street, which is blind in both directions with zero visibility. Wait, it's fucking remote control. I can just stand up. We got his remote control. He just do whatever's, you know? And after a long journey, we were Mom. finally about to reach. Tommy! Tommy! Yeah, let's just dox Tommy what? real quick. Where's your car? You have my what? Where's your fucking cast? Uh, Where's your it's gone now. It's been months. The whole video hinges on your arm being broken. Uh, the video doesn't make sense now. You understand? Sorry. You understand how the video doesn't make sense now? Sorry. Do you get it? Come on, let's okay. get a cast. Let's get okay, a cast. Okay. What is Come this? On. It's your car, bro. So you don't fall on a scooter and break your hand ever again. This thing looks Shut more the dangerous. Fuck up. None of this makes sense without a cast. So you sit inside of it. You sit. You sit inside. Yeah. 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 You're not driving. I don't no. have <laughs> See you later, dumbass. Just, uh, just sit on my lap. Okay. Don't worry, baby. Feel the speed. Feel like you get a little speed. Oh, wow. Acceleration go crazy. I can't see too good, so if you could point out, like, what's going on. So how come you have a helmet, but I don't? This is fucking dangerous. I think it's just a right gun. Oh, this shit. is Santa Monica. Oh, holy shit. I know. This is not part of the plan. Oh boy. Ignore that. Bump it. Is nuts. Ignore that. Ignore it. There's shit dangling. Ignore it. Ignore it. Ignore it. Get off. Get off. This arm? Oh. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Bro, your arm has to be broken to put it in here, which kind of does make sense when you think about it. <laughs> oh, it makes sense. <laughs> the video makes sense. Let's get you in your car. It feels better, huh? Yeah. Hey man, you're welcome, and there's no need to thank me, actually, for real. You enjoy this, okay? I, Have fun, all right? I'll enjoy this. Dude, I should have done this for Senny. Dumbass. Fuck. I'm so uncaring. Thanks for watching the video. That's if you like dude, it, he has such good videos. Group chat and uh, favorite Discord. Dooning server. 5 a.m. I don't, I don't even know where I am anymore. Uh, if you want to see Scooter Car in person, I'm actually taking it to Open Sauce. It's a convention that my ex roommate puts on every year. It's like an adult science fair. Uh, it's not porn. I feel like every time you say adult, you have to preface that with it's. <laughs> it's not porn. I'm, it's I'm not going to subscribe. I mean, I right, fine. Fuck, I'll subscribe. You know what? I'm fine. Boots that the That's biggest the rare on Earth showcase their fuck stuff it. in. I think my favorite from last year was a shrimp that fried rice. But yeah, it's cool. It's uh, in San Francisco and it's going on June 14th to 16th. And if you go to see Scooter Car, you can sit in. Someone said, what a massive waste of time. Dude, that is life. That is life. It's a massive waste of time. I actually like Michael Reeves' videos a lot because they're and, just and so stupid. And you can stupid. mess with the buttons. I haven't this asked Will about this, this but because I'm saying shit. it, he'll be forced to let you do that. Yeah, maybe I'll see you there. And uh, uh, what else, what else? Oh, sorry the video took so long. I promise the next one will be faster, more lies. And uh, oh, Tommy didn't really break his hand on an electric scooter. He broke it on an electric toy moped that I built and he broke it because it didn't have any brakes on it. And that's why we're in the emergency room together. And that's it, yeah, okay, thank you. Good ending. Summer Games Fest is still 60 minutes away. <gasps> 90? Oh, shit, Chompy, I'm sorry. Didn't it say 60? 61 minutes.
we're all hoping for Skate 4. What's another one we're hoping for? Star Wars Battlefront coming out. Really always wanted that game. World of Warcraft 2. Um, what is another one I want? 